everyone else, try to stop the spread of the virus, try to um, keep everyone alive and, and protect it. What happened was that whilst that was the right thing at the time, people didn't realise that the NHS was still open. People could still speak to their doctors about certain things. And that's where one of the failings of things happened because patients didn't come to see us. We even started a, a petition at one point saying still here, still care, because as GPs, we saw the numbers were so down and, you know, all of our cancer referral rates, our heart attack rates were all so low, it didn't make sense. So this was one of the big issues that people felt worried to come and see their GP. Well, I don't know which lockdown or which, uh, which NHS you're talking about, because you know, a lot of the GP surgeries and things were pretty much shut and wouldn't let anybody in. Um, do you, but I, I sort of presume, I remember them saying, though, that people should, you know, we're still open, we're still open, and in the end, they said, don't come to the surgeries and so on and so forth. Uh, but it meant that treatments for illnesses like cancer, heart disease, a lot of those um, were missed, and now there's a massive backlog. But in your view, though, was the lockdown the right thing to do at the time? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we could only follow the advice that we had. Now, what we have to remember is with a pandemic, it's obviously, it's not a joke. We know that now, especially, but I think we didn't really understand the fullness of the situation. And, and a situation like that, when you have a deadly virus spreading, there's no cure, there's a significant potential impact on people. All we can do is try our best to limit the spread, look at what things can help, what can support us, how we can protect ourselves, because ultimately, you know, we've, the lockdown's impacted mental health, it's affected our, our physical health, it's affected our businesses, it's affected our contact with families. But after all of that, the ethos of it was keep alive by staying safe. And that was the whole point. So, so, we'll so, so what about now that more people are dying? Very briefly, because um, I've got to move on. But I want to ask you, so now what about the ethos that um, the, the study that's saying that actually the lockdowns, in hindsight, are, are killing more people? Would you go along with that? Well, of course, I mean, the, the stats are there and the Department of Health have issued an investigation. Look, it's very clear. One thing happened was that people didn't feel they could go to see their GPs or work, wanted to overburden the system. As you mentioned, access was different. Previously, people would come to the surgery. Now they had to call in or had to make email appointments or phone calls, and it was mm. difficult for them. The second mm. thing, of course, is that whilst that was all happening, all of those services looking after these things were actually hit because those doctors and nurses who were looking after those services had to go to the front line and were being used there. So those services were hit. So you had people not accessing the help, and then a massive delay. So those two have caused a big, big challenge for us. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, Dr.